Mumbai's new Gold Line Metro. What is Gold Line Metro Corridor? Explained. The Gold Line Metro Corridor, also referred to as Metro Line 8, is set to establish a direct and efficient link between Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport, CSMIA, in Mumbai and the upcoming Navi Mumbai International Airport. This project, envisioned under the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority, MMRD, Metro Master Plan, addresses a critical gap in the region's transport infrastructure. With a projected budget of 15,000 rupees crore and the ability to accommodate 9 lakh daily passengers, this corridor promises to be a transformative addition to Maharashtra's transit system. For those viewers who are interested in more information regarding Mumbai Metro System projects and their updates, please find links to various videos previously uploaded in this channel within the playlist available at the end of this video. Details for this video has been gathered from news reports of December 12, 2024 and April 5, 2023. My friend, welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. Every like received for a video increases its chance to be recommended to other like-minded people by the YouTube algorithm. Hence please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Historical Context and Vision The concept of the gold line has been part of MMRDA's Metro Master Plan since 2014. However, it has faced delays in execution due to various administrative and logistical challenges. The need for a mass rapid transport system, MRTS, connecting the two airports became more pronounced as work on the Navi Mumbai International Airport progressed. The corridor's significance lies in enhancing connectivity and addressing the increasing passenger footfall anticipated with the new airport's operations, slated to commence commercial flights by 2025. The vision of this metro corridor extends beyond mere connectivity. It is a step toward realizing a cohesive and integrated urban transit network that not only facilitates swift transfers but also supports economic growth in the Mumbai Metropolitan Region, MMR. By connecting two major air travel hubs, the Gold Line aims to streamline passenger flows, reduce congestion on roadways, and align with the broader goals of sustainable urban development. Route and Technical Specifications the 35-kilometer-long Metro Line 8 will feature a combination of underground and elevated tracks. The segment between Undheri and the Eastern Express Highway at Gatkapar will be underground, offering seamless transit through densely populated areas. From Gatkapar, the line transitions to an elevated route along the gatkapar mankhurd Link Road, continuing until Mankhurd. This hybrid design ensures efficient navigation through urban landscapes while optimizing construction costs and land use. The underground section presents unique engineering challenges due to Mumbai's dense urban fabric. Advanced tunneling techniques will be required to minimize disruption to existing infrastructure and ensure safety. The elevated portions, while more cost-effective, demand precise planning to integrate with the existing road and rail networks. Additionally, the project includes constructing a third Mankhurd Vashi Creek Bridge, spanning 2 kilometers, to facilitate the metro's elevated path. This bridge is a critical and challenging aspect of the project, both in terms of engineering complexity and cost. The inclusion of this bridge underscores the project's commitment to creating a direct and uninterrupted link between the two airports. Execution Plans and Key Agencies The implementation of Metro Line 8 involves two principal agencies, the City and Industrial Development Corporation, CITCO, and MMRDA. While CITCO will oversee the project's execution within the Navi Mumbai region, MMR Day will handle the Mumbai segment. This collaborative approach ensures specialized focus on each geographical area's unique challenges and requirements. Earlier deliberations on the project's executing authority highlighted differing preferences. While MMRDA and the state government initially supported CITCO's execution through the Maharashtra Metro Rail Corporation, Maha Metro, former Chief Minister Eknath Shinde advocated for MMRDA's leadership. These debates highlighted the complexities of interagency coordination in large-scale infrastructure projects. Despite these differences, the current administration, led by Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, is expected to expedite the decision-making process, given the urgency posed by Navi Mumbai airports nearing completion. Coordination between these agencies is pivotal not only for execution but also for ensuring timely delivery. Collaborative frameworks must address potential bottlenecks, such as land acquisition, resource allocation and regulatory approvals, to maintain project momentum. Projected Benefits and Ridership With an anticipated daily ridership of 9 lakh passengers, the Gold Line is poised to significantly reduce travel time between Mumbai's two major airports. 
This connectivity is especially vital for passengers requiring swift transfers between domestic and international flights. Moreover, the line is expected to alleviate congestion on arterial roads connecting the two cities, contributing to reduced vehicular emissions and improved air quality. Beyond immediate travel benefits, the corridor holds the potential to stimulate economic activity. Enhanced connectivity can attract investments in commercial and residential developments along the metro's route, fostering urban growth and creating employment opportunities. Additionally, the integration of the Gold Line with existing and proposed transport networks, such as the Navi Mumbai Metro Line 1A, enhances its accessibility and utility for a broader commuter base. Challenges and Implementation The project's partially underground design presents notable construction challenges. Excavation and tunneling in Mumbai's dense urban environment demand advanced engineering techniques and careful planning to minimize disruptions. The presence of existing utilities, densely packed residential areas, and commercial establishments complicates construction logistics. Additionally, constructing the third Mankard Vashi Creek Bridge involves substantial costs and time, further complicating the project's timeline. The creek's ecological sensitivity necessitates compliance with environmental regulations, adding another layer of complexity. Another significant hurdle arose from earlier plans to integrate Metro Line 8 with the high-speed CSMT Punvel Corridor proposed by the Mumbai Railway Vikas Corporation, MRVC. This integration would have required an 8.5-kilometer loop from Seawoods to Navi Mumbai Airport. However, the Railway Ministry's decision to drop the high-speed corridor plan from the Mumbai Urban Transport Project, MUTP, 3A for review necessitated revisions to the Metro's design and execution strategy. These shifts underscore the challenges of aligning long-term infrastructure goals with evolving policy frameworks. Timeline and Current Status The Navi Mumbai International Airport is expected to commence operations in 2025, emphasizing the need for rapid progress on Metro Line 8. In October 2022, MMR Day requested CITCO to prepare a detailed project report, DPR, for sections of the Metro Line connecting Mankar to Sagar Sangam on Navi Mumbai Metro Line 1A and from Belapur to Navi Mumbai Airport. These efforts indicate the project's gradual momentum towards execution. However, meeting the 2025 target requires streamlined processes and proactive management. Stakeholders must prioritize early identification and resolution of potential delays, particularly those related to procurement, labor shortages, or unforeseen engineering challenges. Conclusion the Gold Line Metro Corridor represents a significant step forward in Maharashtra's transport infrastructure development. By bridging a critical gap between Mumbai's existing and upcoming airports, this project aligns with the region's growing demand for efficient and integrated urban transit solutions. Its design, which incorporates both underground and elevated sections, demonstrates a thoughtful approach to balancing cost, efficiency, and environmental considerations. While challenges in execution persist, the collaborative efforts of CITCO MMRDA and the state government underscore a strong commitment to realizing this ambitious vision. The metro's potential to reduce congestion, foster economic development, and promote sustainable urbanization highlights its importance as a cornerstone of Mumbai's modern metro network. As progress accelerates under the new administration, the gold line is well positioned to meet the evolving needs of the region's commuters and stakeholders. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends and in your social media network. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz 1 channel. Thank you.